Hello, we are the Wisest Wizards for Saturday Rough Cuts. I am Coffee Doug. Brian Pancake Hat. And, uh, of course, this is the first Saturday of the month, so as always, we are doing a DVD giveaway. Uh, first off, congratulations to last month's winner, uh, Callaway. She, um, commented, William Goldman's The Guy Who Wrote Princess Bride. That alone makes me want to try it out. I'm reading it on our screen over there. So, thank you very much, Callaway. You will be getting, uh, Straw Dogs and Marathon Man which I will probably send out uh, on Monday, so just in two days, so you should be seeing it fairly soon. Um, all you have to do is be a member or a subscriber to our videos, leave a comment, and you can win. Most of you know how this goes already. We are going to be giving away the independent horror movie Red Velvet on Blu-ray, bitches. That's right. This is a magnet, which we will tell you about in a minute. You're not getting the magnet. We're keeping that. But this is the Blu-ray edition of, uh, like I said, the independent horror film Red Velvet. Um, we, uh, talk about how we found out about this movie, buddy. Why, because you don't remember? No, I do. Go. Well, we went to Comic-Con in Chicago. 2008. 2008. Chicago Comic-Con. And, uh, after perusing all the porn and looking at the swords and, you know, whatever else they have there. Hot chicks walking around in yeah, costumes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, we, uh... Got shanghaied by the director. I mean, he he lured us in with this classic rendition of a new age. Bruce Dixon was the director of this film. Really? Yes. That's a strong name. That is a strong name. I wish my name was Bruce Dixon. <laughs> um, that yeah. Sorry, he grabbed us at the table. And he. You know, I think he got a hold of me first. Yeah, headlock, if I remember right. He like Doug gave him a nookie until his hair came out. Now I I kind of barely. I was very excited at Comic Con. It was my first Comic Con ever, and I don't really remember. I didn't remember it until JM85 refreshed my memory about us seeing the preview and everything and said how excited I was when I watched the preview of this film. And uh, so I guess he showed us a preview. I don't really remember that. Then he showed us his dick. He did? His Bruce Dixon. <laughs> his Bruce Dixon. Um, this, uh, the, the, the overall plot of the, it stars, um, okay, re directed by Bruce Dixon. It came out in 2009. It's not rated. It's about an hour and a half long. And it uh, stars uh, Henry Thomas and Kelly Gardner. Yeah. And uh, Henry Thomas, as many people know, is Elliot from E.T. He's been in a lot of other stuff, though. And Kelly Gardner has been in tons of stuff as well. So, I mean... That sounds familiar. Who? Gardner. Oh, I actually did a little review. That's James Gardner's sister. You, actually, that is honest. I did, I did look that up because I wanted to be prepared. You're telling me that the girl in this movie is James Gardner's sister. I swear to God, Gardner, that I looked it up. I clicked on her. I did look at that. That is an honest review. Unlike last time where I was actually kidding you. Okay, cool. I did not know that. That is... That I did is, not know that. Um, basically, what it's about... That is a complete lie. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Talk about what the movie's about. I thought you were going to say that it was uh, Jennifer Garner's sister. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's actually her it's sister. Not, it's not, but they're both equally hot. Jennifer Garner and the girl from the movie. <laughs> I thought you were going to say James Garner. <laughs> and James Garner. Oh, yeah. Maverick. Uh, uh, so, w what the movie is about, about is, I would say... Elliot is uh, stalking this girl, and uh, he basically gets her, you know, like, they, I think she had trouble with her boyfriend, and, and then he gets to talking to her at a laundromat, yeah. and uh, they just kind of make up this fabrication of, you know, how her weekend was going to be with kind of a special twist. She didn't, she didn't, yeah, we don't want to give away too much, but she was, she hates that she's stuck doing laundry when she's supposed to do, be doing something else, so he decides to entertain her by telling her stories, because he's a writer, and they're horror stories, but you don't know if there's a trace of truth to these stories or not, and you don't know when they take place, it's just, uh, it, um, for such an independent movie, and, and it is a lower budget film, it was done in such a creative way, and the, the, the acting, I thought, was horror movie, it's good, it's horror <laughs> movie acting. I thought the girl was cheesy, and I hope if the actress watches this, she's not like, what? Like, I thought she was very cheesy and silly. She's like, coffee dumb, but I feel you. But I feel like it was, uh, I feel like it was meant, that's the way it was supposed to be for that film. And the special effects. There's, they got an alligator in the film. I mean, how do you beat that, an alligator? I know? have no idea. Was it crocodile? The blood? The killing scenes? Did you like the killing scenes? Uh, you know what? I'm not really a horror... Okay, I like horror films, but uh, let's say uh, overall I like comedies, which it had an aspect of comedy in there as well, but I'm just going to say, not... 
technically a big fan of, of horror movies. Everybody likes blood and guts these days. Well, I'm not necessarily that kind of guy, you know, on film. Me and my S and M room back there. I'll fucking cut you <laughs> with the door. Oh yeah, the door, which we will show you viewers soon. So this was fun, though. It was a fun film. We enjoyed it. We all watched it together, right? Yeah, we had a good time. It had some cheesiness and silliness to us. The director uh, was a great guy, if I remember. Like after they refreshed my memory, I do remember talking to him. He gave us those magnets. He got us to sign up, showed us a preview, and uh, he seemed very passionate about the film and was very excited about it. And that was good to see. And uh, what? What other? Didn't you get a film at Comic Con? Yeah, it's over there. Hold on a second. Get it for me, buddy. Because he got a very special film, too. <clears throat> Not to the likes of, uh, you know, Red Velvet, but what did you get? I got uh, Sex Madness. <laughs> Protect Your Daughters. Uh, Which, don't review it now. We'll review that another well, time. I, I haven't seen it. It had bonus features. What are the bonus features? Hygiene for women. <laughs> and hygiene for men. So that's what they sell at a comic book I, convention. I realize you know. now that... I wasn't clean until 2008. <laughs> Thanks to this movie, I, I was a filthy pig. It, um, mm. Okay, basically, we, we are giving this away, like I said. All you've got to do is uh, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll pick a random uh, commenter later. But if you want to find this, uh, this, this fine film to enjoy it for yourself, you can get a great deal online. It's uh, on Blu-ray and DVD. You just go to Red Velvet Movie. Make sure I got the... Yeah, Red Velvet Movie, which we'll have that underneath here. RedVelvetMovie.com. And uh, type in the code word Facebook, which I'm sure you could find them as a fan on Facebook and everything, too. And you will get, I think, $2 off $2 or whatever it is. Um, one interesting point that I did want to bring up is obviously people find movies for free online all the time and they download shit. Whatever. There's going to be people doing that forever. Um, with so, with a, One, with a film like this, with it being so independent, it's good to support it. So if you can't actually purchase it, you know, do something like that. Or rent it, at least. I think you can rent it for two bucks online or something. But also, if you downloaded it yeah. and didn't pay for it or buy it, a lot of the downloaded versions are cut off by like seven minutes, which cuts off the whole ending. A lot of people thought it ended right there, and that was in the middle of him telling his final s story. Whoa. So it, it cuts off at a really bad point to where you think the ending totally sucks, and it didn't. You missed six or seven minutes. So And um, also, if you download it, the director was pretty adamant. He will come find you and kill you. And kick the shit out of you. He'll kick you... <laughs> I can't even... That's in your cojones. Uh, yeah, okay. No, yeah. Um, it smells like poop. Check, it, <laughs> check out check out Red Velvet. I think you're going to enjoy it. Pancake thinks he'll enjoy it. It's fun to watch. Um, well, don't take my advice for it. I, I told you I had my qualms with the movie. Yeah, I mean, you know. What were the qualms? You didn't... Well, there... I thought I saw something move. But, uh, there were... Uh, <laughs> bugs. Yeah. <laughs> there was, uh, there was boobs. There was boobs. In a good scene. It was a clever scene. So okay. I, it was better than I thought then. How about that? It's because there were boobs. <laughs> That's why you liked it? And I, I saw her boobies and I liked them too. I like the cross dogs too. <laughs> okay. Well, watch Red Velvet. Uh, definitely try to win it through us. Let us know what you think of the movie. Uh, maybe some other independent horror films that we might not know about that we should check out and review if we can. And uh, we always like hearing from you. So... Um, get on the website, you know, check out the movie, and check out the other Rough Cutters. We all appreciate your support, and we will see you next week.